Normally, the immune system can tell the difference between foreign cells and self cells. When it detects foreign invaders like bacteria and viruses, it sends out fighter cells to attack them. In an autoimmune disease, the immune system mistakes part of the body as foreign, so it attacks and damages its own healthy cells of organs and tissues by releasing proteins called autoantibodies. There are over 80 types of autoimmune diseases which can affect almost any part of the body. Common symptoms include feeling tired, low-grade fever, as well as signs and symptoms of inflammation, such as redness, swelling, heat and pain. Symptoms also depend on the part of the body that is affected. Usually, autoimmune diseases evolve with periods of flare-up when symptoms get more severe and periods of remission when symptoms get better or disappear for a period of time. No one really knows why autoimmune diseases happen. What we know is that women are more likely to get an autoimmune disease compared to men, that a positive family history increases the risk, as well as some environmental factors like infections and exposure to chemicals. A fact is that you can catch the disease from other people. Doctors often have a hard time diagnosing autoimmune diseases because many of them have similar symptoms and some symptoms like joint pain, for example, are common in many other illnesses which can be confusing. Also, there is usually not a specific test to show whether one has a certain autoimmune disease, so it can take a long time and several visits to different types of doctors to get the right diagnosis. Some of the most common autoimmune diseases are Type 1 diabetes, when autoantibodies attack and destroy insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. Rheumatoid arthritis, meaning that the immune system attacks joints, causing inflammation, swelling, and pain, which causes permanent joint damage if left untreated. Systemic lupus erythematosus, in which autoantibodies can attack tissues throughout the body, affecting organs like joints, kidneys, brain, and heart. Psoriasis, which causes skin cells to multiply too quickly and the extra cells build up and form inflamed red patches. Graves disease, in which autoantibodies attack the thyroid gland, causing it to produce too much thyroid hormones. Treatments can't cure autoimmune diseases, but the goal is to suppress the immune system and ease inflammation signs and symptoms. Anti-inflammatory and immune-suppressing drugs are used. Having a well-balanced diet and getting regular exercise is also important and may help.